Hello, and welcome to the Galactic Ambassadors podcast. My name is Anne Marie, and I'm here with Julia Balaz, the creator and developer of the Galactic Soul Guidance Certification Program and the Galactic Astro Chart Calculator. And we are joined by Ursula O'Farrell. Just as there are 12 hours on the clock, 12 months in a year, and 12 signs in the Zodiac, there are now 12 certified practitioners from Julia's incredible program. It is my honor and privilege to be here today to congratulate Ursula on this monumental step in her galactic journey. Of course, Ursula has played a significant and crucial role in the program almost from the beginning through our private Facebook group and has Julia's right hand here on this podcast. She has been extremely supportive and encouraging to me and all of the students within the program by organizing and co-hosting numerous group chats where she and Julia have together taught us on topics from the basics to the beyond. Ursula is now offering her readings, reports, and other treasures online at galacticsoulrecords.blogspot.com, and her YouTube channel is The Ascension Playground. Ursula is also an accomplished artist, and you can find her artwork at theartoftheakash.com. Ursula, congratulations. Please tell us where your journey to the stars began, and how was it you originally found Julia's teachings? Well, thank you so much, Julia and Anne-Marie. Anne-Marie, you do such a great job with introductions. <laughs> I'm going to need to get that script from you. <laughs> How did it all begin? So it's very different for me to sit in the hot seat. Um, but I think it was at the moment of birth, you know, a premature birth, born in Hawaii, um, chose this family of seven children, um, a mother from China, father's from Ohio, German descent, and military with uber Catholic. So the setup was already there, control and structure. And so I see now that it began in this quest to know myself with that many children. And I was parenting my siblings since I was probably seven or eight. So there was always this flow and flux of thinking about other people, but there wasn't much time to think about, well, who am I? Not until really um, my senior year in high school, where you have to decide, where am I going to go to college? And luckily, I was able to go to a beautiful university in Los Angeles. And it wasn't until my junior year of college that I got to go to Florence, Italy to live for a year. And that's where the remarkable shift happened in me. It was almost like coming home to the Renaissance, to this birth of light from the dark ages to now the new era of light. And I think the same window of time is upon us now, a new rebirthing, a new Renaissance to help shape and shift the next 500 years. So it's always this constant quest of who am I? And so no matter how good I might've been excelling in various areas, I never really believed in my abilities. Um, I have a remarkable career as a painter, and I only say remarkable because all these doors opened up and it was rather surprising. Um, I love painting. Um, painting is so natural, sometimes I forget to talk about it. It's like having a finger. You don't talk about your finger, you just have it and you always use it. So there's a facility. Um, but moving into the spiritual realms was an anathema to my father. So. Think, thinking he was the Pope, he excommunicated me twice and pushed me out of the family. And that had its own journey, but it actually was a saving grace because then I had to decide, well, then who am I? And so there's a painter, a French painter named Paul Gauguin, who in 1897 painted, he thought he was dying. So he, um, in Tahiti, painted his masterpiece called Where Do We Come From? What are we and where are we going and not only the painting but those three echoing questions have been held in my core being i know that i'm not just a painter i know that i'm not just a mother or a wife i had a hard time getting that word wife through um even mother because of how my own relationship with my mom was so moving into the spiritual and learning these um amazing spiritual divinatory modalities was something that fed me 
it fed me so deeply. So I learned human design, gene keys, astrology. I did Vipassana, Kundalini yoga. I mean, you name it. I probably have a book on it <laughs> or I've, I've done that. And so, but it's always this quest. And so I finally said, um, at almost age 60, when do I get to kind of move into feeling okay, just being where I am. And so I had a reading with Raven Many Voices who said 2022, she said, Ursula, it's the time where all of us are going to roar. And if you decide to roar, it's roaring so that your family can hear you. It's not about here I am, or aren't I so good? It's more like family reunion time. And so I took that as my heart's calling. And in February, I mean, Anne Marie, when I met you, it was like, oh, soul sister. And then we played like, hey, let's learn how to do Julia's calculator together. And so we started doing many videos on both our YouTube channels. And then the audacity of us talking and me saying, hey, do you think uh, we should invite Julia onto our channel? And she said, yes. And then you and I screamed like, oh my God, oh my God, what are we going to do? And that's how it began. But to roar from a place of, I know who I am and it's okay. And I want to find my soul family. Um, I know that's a long answer. That kind of just that was perfect. spilled out. No, <laughs> that here was we are. perfect. Yes. <laughs> so which of the star connections do you feel is most significant to your ascension process? Um, well, you know, I love Lissa Royal Holt's book, The Prism of Lyra. But when you get to the Golden Lake, you really learn this cosmic joke of, I used to think, where's my star family? Because I've done, I'm a Stargate facilitator based in Mount Shasta um, is where those teachings are from. So I used to think, okay, family, and it was just energetic feelings, but I wanted to know their name. So to answer your question, um, I was a lucky one to get a reading from Julia, a personal reading, so she could highlight Vega. And so Lyra Vega, this idea of holding that blue green energy of the feminine aspect of Lyra and really looking at Elena Danan's book to understand, okay, what else is in that story? But going back to that golden lake of Lissa Royal Holt, the funny cosmic joke is, you know, we think that we're so separate, even if we're talking about star families and it's a little bit of, we're a little bit of everything, but it's okay to embrace where you are. And if I need to reach my vegan star mothers or having studied with Cryon and the 12 layers of DNA, I know that the Pleiadian star mother, Elili U is within reach. And so it's just learning the names to call it in. Does that answer the question? <laughs> no, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. So what readings are you most excited about sharing with your clients? What part of the readings? Um, you know, when we got to interview Anthony, one of our beautiful practitioners, my heart just expanded thinking that there's a whole group of younger people and young adults who are looking for clarity and being a mother of many children and having helped raise my siblings, I often wonder, had I had this a little bit of clarity in my life purpose and mission and knowing what gifts I came fully loaded with. So my heart really is for the younger generation who wants to know, not parents who are dragging their kid and saying, you should get a reading. Um, but that's just my own heart as mother Ursula. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but I enjoy just anyone sparking the light and joy and clarity. These are modalities, narratives, and stories of the stars that I'm new to. But boy, when you look at them from an archetypal, energetic level, it makes sense to me. And Julia's calculator is so easy to begin with. And then it's up to you to decide how deep do you want to go. I have to say, you have this extraordinary ability to feel into other people's um, struggle or people who don't yet fully understand things and they're afraid to say so, you always feel those hearts and you always go above and beyond to help people understand the basics. And um, I love that also with your readings that you 
have just this gift. I, I think really it's extraordinary because I have never seen it at anyone else. You just have it, it just comes to you so naturally where you put very complex topics into language that is easy to understand and grasp from a practical perspective, from everyday human perspective. It's just such an easy listen to to your mini readings on your YouTube channel, The Ascension Playground, but they are very profound, you know, simple and profound is the combination that you do. So um, I'm really excited that you are bringing this very unique flavor to the table. And I know it'll resonate with so many people who, especially the newcomers, right? The, the newbies that come into the ascension topic, higher consciousness topic. And there's so much of this new lingo that uh, we are terminology that we are using and you are helping these types of people to understand and help them feel comfortable in the uncomfortable playground you know when you first are introduced to something so I think that really is your unique gift amongst many others thank you Julia you've given me space and a playground basically permission to start practicing and speaking. I wasn't teaching before. I wasn't even speaking publicly about galactic or spiritual too loudly. But then when you check with my family and friends, that's all I have ever talked about in the last 20 years. So um, my husband says, I have the gift of shish kebab. So you put all these disparate little pieces and I just kind of go whomp. And, and there is some way of understanding things very abstractly, but then practical wisdom. So anyone listening, if you're a very, very beginner and you want to just test ride, like, what is this all about? I want to make it, the space very comfortable for you so that it's a basic level. But then if you're intermediate or advanced, let's go there. Let's dance. I, you know, I can do all levels but my mom was a school teacher so I kind of always went oh, that's not me I'm I'm over here but now it's like you know if it's in you and some of my galactic history is about really this focus on teaching about multi-dimensionality and knowing yourself and I'm still figuring it out but if I can spark a light and a joy in someone else just to inspire you I don't have all the answers but I sure have a lot of fun trying to hold the story and see if it feels right for me or not. This lion's gate, yes. So Julia, I was gonna just drag my feet and not, you know, like stay in the background and just play co-host and I wasn't gonna come out, but because I heard Raven tell me, you know, this is the time to roar and here's this lion's gate and we're still in this energy, this portal. And then my North node is in the 11th house of Leo with Leo. And I looked at the Sabian symbol, so I'm like, if not now, Ursula, when? So with Anne Marie's grace to say, yes, she'll join us. It's like, okay, okay. And number 12, thank you. You did a beautiful job. 12 being a magic number. So here I am. <laughs> well, you, you've answered my next question already. And I was going to ask, you know, if you had any advice for the other students or for people that are interested in taking the course, um, you know, but you've, you've already given a beautiful answer to that. So Tell us where you see your practice going from here. What do you want to accomplish with your clients in the future? You know, I'm going to let Divine Mother guide whoever moves in this energetic frequency um, to join me. And so check out my YouTube channel first, The Ascension Playground, because I want to reach not just your mind, but see if we can be like, I, I like being a guide on the side, you know, this idea of um, if you need a little boost or a little clarity, um, I'd like to just merge energy and just see if we can um, get you to the next step because it's your choice, your journey. But, you know, it a little scared me a little bit to take this step as a certified practitioner because I want to find a way to still have joy and not look at his work. So if you want to, um, travel with me think of me as a guide a guide on the side you know what I can't get out of my head while you're talking this whole time I'm not sure if you saw the beautiful animated movie called the soul 
there are these guardian beings, angels on the other side that were in charge of all the souls, making sure that everyone finds their spark. And you keep reminding me of these amazing guardian angels that are so full of love, eternal patience. <laughs> and you'll just make sure that people will, or the souls will find their spark, their way, their place in the world. You just, this guardian archangel energy is what I'm always getting from you whenever I'm interacting with you so yeah it's oh, that is it so sweet. very comfortable uh, to be in your presence and I'm sure your clients and certainly as I've seen the comments and feedback from the sessions that you've given so far the comfort and clarity is amazing thank you that's if beautiful could, that's I that's could, Ursula oh my god <laughs> well you know Julia if you hadn't um allowed me to start playing teacher with you um this idea that I have the royal star formal halt with Uranus and learning that Uranus is a higher octave of Mercury that Mercury speaks with the communications that is earth-based but this higher level of Uranus having this cosmic conversation or cosmic communication um so knowing that that fixed star with archangel gabriel the divine messenger it was my calling out card like i can't just keep talking to myself it's time so if someone's listening and you're you're kind of like me like dragging your feet because you're not wondering or want to play small or hide or be second you know it's time now to roar because energetically well it's a choice but for me, it was like, I'm out of time. If, if not now, when? And so it's like, I love, I mean, I'm going to cry. I love every person I have met in your course, feel like my, my soul family, like I don't have to hide. I can just talk in the language that we speak and aren't called out as strange. <laughs> well, I'll embrace strange, but you know, so if I'm wearing Andara with a divine feminine, so this idea of bringing geometry, oh, did you see that little orb? Geometry, the structure of the masculine, and this is the male version of your flower of life, Julia, and then bringing and infusing this energy. Um, so it's like me activating by teaching and, and, and saying yes, this, it's fuller activation, holding a light. So sorry to ramble, Anne-Marie. <laughs> you're fine you're perfect <laughs> so julia did you have anything else you wanted to ask her i wanted to share a little bit of her art i just want to show you guys a few of the pieces because i think they're exceptional so i'm going to share my screen is that okay with you ladies so as julia's finding it i have two websites one is what i'm known for is figurative work so you'll find that on ursula fine art and this one, Art of the Akash, is my hidden website, which I'm making public now, with spiritual work, with sacred geometry, with colors and orbs, and moving into the multidimensional. So it's almost like you have to start with your body, and then you move into the emotional, but the deeper you go within, you start finding these matrices that connect us, not just within our solar system, but multigalactically. And so, Julia, your class gave me a way to start having the conversation and the vocabulary for this new language of light. And it's stepping into our galactic consciousness, no longer just earthbound, but a galactic citizenry. So thank you for sharing the art, because I see that the art with how I'm evolving are kind of mirroring one another. I love this piece so much. This one is called the family or soul family, isn't it? You know, I forgot. <laughs> I think <laughs> I believe there is one that's called soul family. I mean, meeting yeah. family. Yeah, this and one. Yet... Has, I just this one speaks to me, and uh, you know, it's all... beautiful. Yeah. So there is more. There is more on the website and the other website as well. So make sure to check it out. And of yeah. course, also your YouTube channel, you are active on that channel and you're adding amazing videos. I love the children's laughter at the beginning of your videos and That's at the cool. end. And many people are commenting on that. I've noticed just such a high vibe, hence the mm -hmm. playground. And yeah. uh, you're inviting uh, interesting conversations to the table and also helping with introducing galactic astrology topics and nibble sizes. Again, making everyone comfortable. Oh. 
with the new terminology. So definitely worth subscribing and sharing. And her blog spot now. Oh my God. Remember the blog spot, galacticsoulrecords.blogspot.com. It's beautiful. Well done. And I want to give a shout out to Anne Marie because her star seeds rising. She helped me start navigating in PowerPoint and also am inspiring my YouTube channel. And a shout out to you, Julia. You lit a spark in me that I didn't even know was there. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And for my classmates, I would just say, fan the flame, fan the flame and enjoy the ride. Beautiful. Thank you, because the space you hold is so loving um, and it's just more like organically, we're all going to meet our family. And as you say, link arms and we're gonna walk home together. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> Such a blessing to have you two in my life. It's, um, I believe you were the last two one-on-one -on -one sessions that I did just to give my full attention and focus to supporting students and practitioners of galactic astrology. And um, you were at the beginning when you invited me for the interview, when it really started expanding and doors open. So I felt it was such a fated meeting. We have to have a look at the transits of when we when we did that interview, but it really felt special. And I'm just, my heart is overflowing with gratitude whenever I think of the two of you. So Aww. many blessings for <laughs> both of you, your families and your clients. Well done. So thank proud. you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. See you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> Here we go. <are. laughs>